Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Atlia Forest. This is part 33 and we are currently in the White Fog Forest still. The place is huge, okay? The place is really big and we've been running around for a long time and I've equipped everyone to the best of my abilities and I've made as stuff as best I can. And as you can see, we still got a long way to go. We did explore that cave, but that cave sucks. So uh, we're going to make our way on. So uh, yeah, not doing too bad. We had 107 days left, so I'm not even sure if the game ends when you run out of days, we're going to fail. Tremendously, but that's not going to discourage me from still playing and enjoying the game. The game is very, very fun and very cute, and I like it that it's not too serious. So, I really want to pick up Atlia Sophie now so I can see what Atlia Sophie is all about. A little bit of a weird glitching situation there, like the game didn't want to let me through there for some reason, but I got through and uh, I got whatever was back there, which was nothing. And around the corner, we found some mushrooms. So, there's a little uh, jellyfish. I'm gonna fight the jellyfish. Because I still want to level Dross up a little bit, so Dross is time. a little bit under leveled, I said. So we can like throw stuff, so I'm going to throw a lightning thing on this guy. Look, a lightning bomb. That's a lot of damage. Uh, can't throw a lightning bomb with her though, so she'll just do a normal attack. Might do enough. Oh, I did exactly enough. Holy crap. Sish. And then we'll get her to throw a lightning bomb too. The reason we're throwing lightning bombs in the last episode, we did see that we need to throw a bunch of lightning bombs to give first an idea to make a new weapon or something. So, there we go. And I think we actually just got it. Maybe? That would be great if we did. I have no idea, but we'll check that out once we get to the athlete. For now, I want to try and be a little bit faster with my playing because I feel like I'm not really progressing right now through the game. And we're just in a situation where we're collecting stuff and then running back to Atlia and making items and collecting stuff. And we do need wild cotton to make moth cotton. And we need to make a lot of moth cotton so we can unlock another recipe and stuff. So we do need to, to do that at some point. But for now, we're going to keep playing the game at a normal speed, not worrying too much. There's a little bit of a weird ass dead end. Hello, buddy. Can't hit you both of that craft. Can't you both of that craft. What about the thunder thing? Okay. Let's call thunder. Oh my goodness. Okay. I mean, what blitz calls do a lot of damage. But Drossel does even more damage. Drossel is doing like more damage than everyone else in my party is doing, and she's level fucking 12. And the other people are level freaking like 20 something. So. Dross is going to be a big powerhouse for us later on. I want to at some point like maybe make a trip back to the big tree soldiers so we can get like another... It wouldn't be 900 experience now, but it'd probably be like something like 600 experience now. Easily. And that could level us up quite a bit. Although I, I did say in the previous episode, and I think it's true that I think we might be slightly overleveled. Um, if you look at what level Dross will join the team at level 12, that's usually a good indicator when you get new characters in JRPGs, what level you should be. And the fact that Joss was level 12 says that we should have been around level 12-ish. But uh, we're not. We are level 20-something. So, eh, not sure if I messed up or not. Still not hitting both, really. I think I'm only hitting both. Attack with item. Craft. Look, it was hitting both. Sweet. Very weak, very weak. Joss gets a good amount of experience from that, though. So, click some eggs here. Oh, feathers, not eggs. Okay. I should probably hit this tree. Nope, we're gonna fight a puny. Got Unya. Unya is good. Uh, Unya is used for craft bags, so I actually do like Unya. Instant bisection. Boom. She's so good. Trust is so good. I love Trust. Um, anyway. So we found some dead ends in this forest area, which is actually great for me because <laughs> I was starting to think this place was infinite. Um, but luckily it's not. I'm not going to be fighting too many things anymore. This stuff here are too weak. So cute today too, That's still so creepy, Liliana. Uh, Liana. But, um, yeah, we are going to oh, be collecting okay. stuff every now and then. But, like, the stuff you collect here aren't really good. And the, um, enemies here are really weak. It's not like the undead liches or the griffonians that we were fighting in the other area. So I kind of feel like I don't want to be here. Ooh, is that an exit to a new area? Is that what this is? Oh, that's... Oh, is that a cave? No, that's, that's straight up an exit. So, world map it. Oh, it's going to go over here. Oh, and here's it. Over here. Does this go to Flusenheim too? Oh, no. Interesting. Very interesting. So, we don't want to go through there yet. That one is the one that goes to... 
probably down to that other southern area that I never went to. That might be Donna, actually, so we might want to go that way. We'll think about it. We'll finish exploring this area, and then we'll, we'll go there and see where that takes us. I'm pretty sure it's uh, Donna or whatever the hell's in that last area. It's not going to be Flusenheim. I'm 90% sure, because Flusenheim is more on the uh, eastern side, and this looks like it's more of the southwestern side, and that does look like where that map is going to. So, Yeah, I feel I feel you uh, first. Okay, we can't run through there because as you can see on the map, there's like this weird little gap thing. A um, lot of bunnies to fight. We did see that other merchant, so we probably want to find him at some point. We got some blossoms here. Oh, ha, a cave. Caves are always fun. I like caves. Except that last cave went to the highway. Cave sucked. There was nothing in there, A, eh? and then B, it was just kind of a little time. So we will go into this cave, though, hoping that this cave is a slightly more interesting, better cave than the previous cave. The South Cave. There's a lot of south caves. It might be dark, but I know where to go. We need to go this way. No, Zoro, I'm not listening to you. I'm not listening to you. If I follow your lead, Zoro, we will never make progress. Ever. Do, 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 do. We got some good quality water, I think. I'm gonna find some spore shoes. Or a blow. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we actually do do enough damage to kill in one set of attacks. I wasn't sure. I was like, are we going to be able to kill it or do we need to use abilities and items? Luckily, we did not need to use abilities or items. That's good. Red sand is actually good because we are running a bit low on this stuff. We used a, I used a lot of um, items which you guys don't know about uh, off camera. So I'm going to use a mining bomb here, I think. It will hit both. Please work. Bomb. Good. That's good damage. That is it is actually very easy for us. You are correct. It was a honeycomb and unya. It wasn't gold, silver, or treasure. But uh, you know, biggest can't be choosing all that. Oh, I thought that was a big ass enemy. I was like, oh my god, what is that big ass enemy? I thought it was like going to be some kind of cool boss thing. I want to fight something strong and scary. It's been too long. Everything's been so weak lately. Maybe I should go to that other area and just just fight them and see what they what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? Mm, it's not. It's not going to reach. Mm, what about let's use the ice? Let's use the fire one, yeah. Holy crap! I got wrecked. Power bash! Oh, that rocket attack! That sounds horrible! Did 14 damage to freaking Drossel! You dead, Mr. Spore Demon Monster! How dare you attack Drossel! Thought we had an arrangement. You can attack anyone except for Drossel. Also, is my queen. A um, lot of like not good items here, but it's okay. I need to find a way to break through these big rocks because I feel like breaking through these big rocks is what's going to allow us to start exploring a lot of the map that we don't know exists yet. You know what I'm saying? Because these big rocks are in my way, man. Oh crap! Um, probably don't want this much water, but uh, I don't know. Uh, let's get rid of these gems because we have a lot of these gems. I need a chest, is all I really care about right now. We got a traveler's coat, that's okay. I'll get rid of a uh, honeycomb for traveler's coat. I'm not gonna collect anything else, I'm just going to. Oh my god, enemy just out of nowhere. Folded. Where did you come from, enemy? Get high speed slashed. Whoop. And then get power bashed. And then get attacked. Yeah. Easy. Don't sneak up on me, Mr. Mr. What's my call it? Thing I ain't scared. I ain't scared. I will open this treasure because treasures might have something rare. Let's sort by quality. Go to the bottom and get rid of the last uni we just got. Back to old school. Getting rid of items. It was the item we just got. Sweet. So nothing in here of importance. Once again, another cave that just feels kind of pointless. Which is a lot of the caves are starting to feel like soon. Like I'm starting to feel like the caves just aren't worth my time. So what I want now is a better backpack for first. Can I equip multiple backpacks? Never actually tried. Okay, we don't have. So even if we did, well, we don't have any backpacks. So even if we could, we wouldn't be able to because we don't actually have. So now we don't want to fight anything or pick up anything. We just want to run around and kind of explore this middle section. So this way. And either we are going to find just be careful where you step. something good or we're going to find nothing, which is fine. Do, do, do. We're looking for an atelier now. There should be an atelier around here. This 
If you look at the setup of the map, I feel like it will be an atelier. Oh, those trees look different. These trees look very different. They're like white. Interesting. Can I harvest these trees? What's the deal with these trees? Just weird white trees. Oh, there were towns. The towns were like in that um, area. Where's the area? I knew there'd be Alia somewhere. I just wasn't sure where. I have to look for it. Wait, why am I picking up stuff? I can't pick up stuff. Ah. Go away. Let's speak to these good sirs over here. There's a there's a few buildings. Hmm. I've fallen out of shape lately. I'm worried about my flabby muscles. Okay. Yeah. Oh my, you've got such a squishy body like a puny. Is your name Miss Puny? I bet your name is Miss Puny. Why are you looking at me like that? Fine. Kids challenge these Walter and Pixelmine. I don't mind giving up against you. Seeing as you and I are both Travis, how about a contest to see who can hunt more rabbits? Okay. You know you're gonna lose, right? Once I find this there we go. Once I find this Atelier, you're going down, you sexist pig. Just cause he's a man and I'm squishy like a puny. I might be squishy like a puny. We make a Valkyrie spear. We don't have anyone to use the spear, so what's the point? I'm not gonna synthesize it, I'm just gonna rest it up. It's gonna be like a nice eight hour rest. Good night. See? That sexist motherfucker has made a uh, start dreaming about poonies. It's horrible. Let's go. Okay, so we gotta murder rabbits because there's this asshole who thinks he's better than us. Just because he's a man. What the fuck does he think he is? Yo, birdie. I'm gonna murder you. I'm just gonna murder everything now to prove to this douchebag that just because he's a Fucking you, ma not as squishy as a super cute puny. Doesn't make him better than me. I mean, I personally want to be squishy like a puny, but that's just me, you know. Everyone has their own desires in life. We're looking for bunnies. There's a mm, blossom. Blossom. There's a bunny. I'm coming, Mr. Bunny. You will die. Bunny die. You are right. You are destroyed. You didn't stand a chance. He said no one died, which is weird. Three damage! Three damage? What is this three damage crap? Wreck bunny. Wreck bunny. Okay, we killed one bunny. How many bunnies do you need to kill? Like 20, 50, 100, 1000. 10 bunnies. Okay. I think 1000 bunnies would be more accurate for, for contest, but uh, it's okay. Probably wouldn't be able to kill a thousand bunnies so I'd run out of time. Okay, looking for bunnies. Bunny, bunny, bunnies. Bunnies. Bunny, bunny, bun. There's a bunny. I'm coming, Mr. Bunny. We did find a town, and I love towns because towns are people. People are items. Items are great. Also, there's uh, stuff like the. Um, stuff like the inns and the suites where you can watch cool cutscenes and stuff like that. You are all fucked. Okay. Easy. Why is there a town in the middle of nowhere? Okay. Lots of bunny meat, okay. Uh, look at the map. Let's go down here and explore the full extent of the section. There's a birdie. I don't care too much about you, Mr. Birdie. There's a freaking free chest, though. That I do care about. Free chest. Treasure. Treasure. We got a cloth. Hey, that's huge. Cloth is fucking hard to make, okay? You know what's really hard to make? Mothcot. Mothcot is insanely difficult to make. You wouldn't think it is, but it really is. Uh, that's a weird looking town, okay? But it's okay. We're gonna keep exploring. Exploring. Looking for bunnies. I only wanna fight bunnies, nothing else. There's a blossom. Uh, you are adorable, blossom, but unfortunately I can't fight you because I'm on a bunny hunt and uh, I only murder bunnies. Is that a cave? Yeah, it is a cave. Outskirts cave. Man, I gotta explore a cave. What a dimly lit place. Yeah. Be very careful about your footing. What is this, a cactus? It's not a cactus, it's red sand, okay. More red sand. Gathered it! Good morning, More everyone! Sand. Good morning! Come on, let's have a bright and cheerful day! Drossel's awesome! I knew Drossel's was my favorite I'll character. I just knew it. I don't know how I knew, I just knew. I looked at the character setup and I was like, you know what, Drossel, you're gonna be my favorite character. That's a big ass crystal. Those are big ass crystals. 
Get wrecked. Use a mining bomb and a mining pistol. Excuse me. Excuse me. I did say it was a big ass rock, but holy shit, can. Oh shit, that's a good rock. We actually want those rocks. Okay. So these rocks are huge. They give me items that I need. So let's just spam this way button. Spam, 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 spam. We're gonna use up all our LP here, which is really bad. Spamming the square button. Whenever we hit square, time does pass though. So we want to probably use bombs to speed up the process. We should have blow bombs in our inventory at all times. What the fuck are these things made out of? Holy shit. This might be really amazing. Uh, I'm glad you think so. It took like, like all my mining bombs and a shitload of LP to get that. And a lot of time lost it. Do, 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 do. More sand. Nice. Okay. Sweet. So we pretty much explored most of this. We got very good items. Then we got one Hakurai stone, which is what we need. So that's really good. Uh, we want more Hakurai stones, of course. But unfortunately, we just got the one. And we got a lot of those yellow shards or whatever. But we didn't get... We only got the one Hakurai stone. I will pick up this. Because I'm sure this was not here last time. We got Hakurai stones. Okay, collect all of these. These are all Hakurai stones. We need them. We need Hakurai stones. Because they are used to make Blau Bombs. And we want Blau Bombs. Because Blau Bombs are going to eventually take us to a place where we will be stronger than anything in the game. Wait, that's not right. We're really strong than anything in the game. A little bit of a weird glitchy coloring there with the lighting, I guess. Uh, my eyes are starting to hurt a little bit while I'm like, screening the screen like this. Scanning the screen, screening the screen. I don't know how you should say that. Okay, so now that what feels like another wasted... Uh, another wasted cave. But what we are going to be able to do is go into this cool looking city area. And see what's up with this little city area. Hello. Oh my god, it's a chicken! Oh, it's a chicken! We found her! Hey, Tiana! Ah, uh, Ferris, see, walk up. I decided to start my own shop. Starting today? Wow, but why all of a sudden? I'm gonna sell all sorts of items at my shop and earn lots of money so I can eat lots of tasty food. Ooh, sounds like you're kind of reasoning, Tia. <laughs> all the merchandise has been kept and collected from my Tiana selection. Be sure to take a look, Ferris. I'm gonna point out to all you motherfuckers out there. That this woman's the first person that I've ever seen in any game that has the right logic. <laughs> I'll buy everything here. What's he got? Water, no. Puni flu is a bargain. Why does this Puni flu cost 12,000 money? Like, this costs two. Cost 500. This cost 12,000. Did hmm. I mess up or do you not have enough money? Woman? Oh, I could do this for a while. It's like a jelly and a nice coat. <laughs> Don't touch that. Putting juices are acidic. If you do that, it will melt your hand. <laughs> Um, what the fudge game? Why is Puni Fluid to what? Can I just sell Puni Fluid and become a millionaire? I don't think so. I will sell this log though. See? Everything I have. Is oh my goodness, that sells quite a lot. Everything I have sells for so little, but then you want me to pay 12,000 for Puni Fluid? I don't understand, game. Is this a mistake? Because everything she has is shit, but it all costs a lot. Tiana, I think you ripped me off. So what do you think? Isn't my shop the best? Um, Tia, how did you decide on the prices for your items? Uh, well, I just kind of randomly guessed. I knew it. To be honest, they don't make sense at all. Uh, I'm sorry, but the way things are, I don't feel like buying anything. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Uh, might have gone too far. Oh no, Ferris! That's really cool! Hmm. What should I do in my shop? Oh, A, your prices are fucked. <laughs> okay, so that's why I couldn't buy. I was gonna say because, like, holy shit, twelve thousand for puny fruit. Right. We've got a hold of the harvest prayer ritual soon. They say the cave of Wine by monster again this year. It's gonna be difficult preparing the ceremony this right. I'll murder everything in the cave. I'll murder it all. Don't worry. Who's this? Is it Tia Tiana? It is Tiana. Man, I feel bad now. Shame. Tiana's so sad about a shop. Uh, 
person. Dude, what's up? Yeah. This is the forest village of Donna. Oh, we found Donna. I knew I'd find Donna eventually. At the center of the village is the divine tree. It may be hard to believe, but it's actually several hundred years old. Not hard to believe at all, actually. Hello, kids. What's up? Okay. When I left flowers in the fairy circle, they were gone the next day. And in their place was something else. I bet the fairies wanted to trade. Oh. Okay. Aren't these birds adorable? I'm going to string them together and make a necklace. Okay. Uh, sure. I swear, today's day I set a new record for continuous jumps at the stump forest. Okay. Do I get to do continuous jumps at the stump forest? Sounds great. Uh, more people. Oh. Wow, there's a village inside a forest. I didn't know there was a place like this. Yep, this village is called Donna. Can you see the tree over there? Oh yeah, the big one there, right? That's right, in this village they call the tree the divine tree and take great care of it. So first, you better not mess with that tree, okay? <laughs> I wouldn't do something like that. What kind of person do you take me for, Leah? Ferris is so gonna mess with that tree. Huh? Could you two be travelers? Oh yes, we just got here, actually. Really? Then you should pray, pay respect to the village elder before anything. She may be quite a stickler, so... Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, it's nothing. The village elder's house is over there. Take care. Mm hmm. Hmm. It seems something is going on, but since we were told to pay respects, we should go see the elder. Hmm. I'm a little scared, but let's go visit the elder's house. Okay. Doop. Hello. What's up? Yeah. Up. Oh, this is the same dude. Okay. Sweet. There's the kids. We got some kids. What's up, Slera? Honestly, as soon as I let those kids out of my sight, they start playing pranks. That is literally what children do. What is this? Oh, this is she <gasps> She's an alchemist! She's an alchemist! Much. Have they stopped on wares? They ran out. Please buy them, okay? How about you buy my wares first, motherfucker? Okay, no, no, no. Uh, sweet shoot, no. Milk, ooh. Milk, no. We have a lot of lettuce, apparently. A lot of wood, a lot of puny balls. A lot of red. We do have zero metal masher. We have zero bone mail. I want bone mail. Bye. Thanks again. I I want a metal masher, but I'm not gonna buy. Oh yeah, we bought something. Oh, it's a cute girl. I share the sweets I got from the village. I'll do with everybody. Oh, that's so adorable. What is this? This is a pub. pub. Grainer's tavern. Hello, Grainer. Yeah. Do. I bet if you made chocolate donut trees and grilled meat with them, it'd be delicious. Okay, can I not do that? Hello. Yes. This guy's very white. It's a relatively quiet village here, but the taverns can get shook and get lively. He's the alchemist. Give me a yes. letter recommendation, you motherfucker. Yeah. You know the place called the Southern Plains? Try setting up, setting off a bomb in the submerged forest there. I bet something cool will happen when you do. By the way, when you get some of that, share some with me, okay? Oh! Oh! We got a, we got a quest to blow up the virus. Yeah. Sorry, I can't help you right now, but could you could you do it yourself? What? Yeah. Could you do it yourself? What the f shit kind of... S that's horrible service. The heart come to a bar for... Oh my goodness, hello. <laughs> the booze is good here, but this place is all about the food. I know, but apparently I can't have any of it, so fuck this game. Hello. <laughs> this is a bot for training information. Okay. Ah, here's a person I'm to. Yes. I trained for 20 years before finally being able to call myself chef. Sanji? Is yes. this Sanji? I think so. Who knows? Let's go. Sweet. The tavern's great. We got a quest in the tavern to go blow up the forest. I just think blowing up a forest is a slight bit <laughs> passive aggressive. I'm just saying. This reminds me of my childhood. You're, you have it. You must have. swinging sticks around. Must have had a horrible childhood. I'm st I can't get back. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I will abuse this, the fucking mechanics of this game <laughs> to get back there. Mm. I'm the world's greatest gamer. What? Dang, this town doesn't seem to have any rare antiques. Maybe I should check the east side of the lake next. Okay. There's too many people. Yeah. When you leave things in the fairy circle, depending on the arrangement, there will sometimes be new things left behind to replace them. Weird things like old bronze statues. Ooh. I've restocked my merchandise that ran out. Please, feel free to buy them. I love your music. And this is great. What do you got? Uh, Princess Cross. Ooh, Princess Cross is actually rare. Uh, Cobble Cross is also rare. Uh, Tall Town isn't that rare, Mook isn't that rare, Wool, 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 Bombs, Bombs, 
panning fluid. Oh my goodness, she's got hand cloth. I will buy some hand cloth. Oh shit. Wait, what? Oh, she only has two. I will buy it all. I also. I will buy the Nodok because apparently I have zero Nodok. I'm gonna buy all your bombs too. I need them for the mining of those other stuff. I will buy all your cobalt cross too. And I'll buy all your princess cross too. Uh, I'm not gonna buy you. I think that's enough princess cross. Milk? I'll buy all your milk. I can only buy 23 for some reason. Whoa. Oh! I ran out of space in my fucking thing. Now I need to find an atelier. What is this? Atelier right here! Wait, that was supposed to be. Oh! Let's go to atelier first. Okay. Put our stuff away, then we'll go straight back into Donna. Interesting. This is cool. I like this. I like this. We found Donna. Yep. And then. Lip. I should probably rest it up for some LP, but fuck it. Who cares? Trying to save time, baby. What you got, dude? Yes. There's ruins in the middle of the forest. They say there's a terrifying monster that lives there. Scary. Yes! Gotta go kill a big monster. It's my dream come true. Yo, what's up, lady? I'm gonna buy your shit. You need to uh, show what's your face how to do stuff. So we want wool. Why oh, she got so much wool? It's about like 20 wool. Because we apparently have zero wool. And then we'll buy 10 of these wools because they're different. And then we'll buy uh, 10 of these, 3 of these wools because they're also different. Which is much more expensive. And then bombs, no. Sweet. Back. Thank you. I'm gonna speak to this lady. Have I spoke to I have not spoke to this lady before, I'm pretty sure. Ah, why are there stairs? Yeah. Lots of mushrooms going for us. Please be careful for the poisonous mushrooms are ever. Okay. Woman, please. You think this is my first radio? Well you have to say, Mr. Dude. I wonder if there's anything fun to do. This place is too peaceful for its own good. I agree. Okay, so I feel like we've explored the entirety of this village. Only thing we have to do now is go to the eldest place. Private home. It's a lot. Okay, not going to the private home. <laughs> private home is like, that's the elder. So we know it's elder, so let's go like you're here, speak to the guys in the middle. Hello. Yeah. Rumor has it that if you go into the silver forest, first thing in the morning, you can see something good. Okay. What do you have to say, Mr. Dude? This tree was here long before this village was built. The roots of this tree are near the giant fallen tree. Crazy, right? Lately, monsters have been attacking the roots and it's starting to suffer. I'm sure it'll be back to normal as soon as it can get some nourishment. Okay, so we need to give the tree nourishment. We've got to kill the monsters that are attacking the tree. People often end up dropping things in the forest. Most of them realize they've dropped something. Okay. Awesome. So I feel like... I feel like we've explored the full extent here. So I'm going to end the episode here by going to the atelier. And next episode, we'll go speak to Alden and we'll start tackling some of the quests in this area. As you can see, we got a lot of quests that are activated now, like a lot. Like there's one in this cave over here. If we go to this, there's a cave here in the south cave. There's a quest in the south cave. We've got a quest. Uh, we've got like Donna Village, small request, ancient uh, memory, prep for ritual, silver forest, sacred great tree. You know, we've got a lot. Of, and we even got a quest for an area we're not even in. So that's just great. Anyway, so we're going to go to the Atelier. Save up quickly. That's going to be end of this episode. And next episode, we'll speak to the village elder, who is an alchemist, as we saw. There's a lot of wool, baby. <laughs> but all the wool, people. Let's go. Awesome. Um, let's see how containers are doing. Containers. Yeah, we still got like 2,000 space left. We're fine, baby. We're fine. Anyway, that's going to be end of this episode of Atlea First. If you guys enjoyed Donna and fighting a new city and making some good game progress for change, hit the like button. It helps out a bunch. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already. So you guys will be updated as soon as new episodes release. New episodes of Atlea First will be released every single day on my channel. And I hope you have all been enjoying them. I'll see you next time where we take on Donna. Thanks for watching.